Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. We are talking Thursday flipping investments this week, another week of weekly rewards, more stuff happening on the market, more Road to the Final Cards added into packs yesterday. I want to talk about that, some of those prices right now, why they're extremely inflated, some of the price range updates, all that sort of stuff. I want to talk about that in today's video, and then also talk about just the whole Thursday flipping concept this week. When can you be buying your cards? Looking at prices right now on the market, could those prices drop down today on Wednesday a little bit more with the new Team of the Week? Some actual like leaked stuff about Team of the Week that's been going around inside of FIFA and on Twitter. Uh, there's like the actual cards from this week's Team of the Week are already out in the game. So Team of the Week 7 is basically getting uh, le leaked and released already into FIFA. So we'll show you some of those cards uh, and talk about some of the buys that we could make this week week and kind of where I'm going to be focusing and looking at what kind of cards we could be purchasing this week in terms of out of packs in forms or gold cards, maybe even some icons if you're on a higher tier budget, because I do think the market's going to rise this week on Thursday, right? It happens almost every week on Thursday. There's some stuff that goes up on the market. Now, of course, every single week as well, we have continued to see a lot of over investing in some areas. So we'll kind of monitor that, look at some of the out of packs cards as well. But the first thing that I wanna look at, and as of right now, we do not have a filter yet for these new cards. So we have to use the old special filter for these new items. Europa League Road to the Finals were released today, five of them, right? They were on the loading screen yesterday. They came out in Diddy, Aubameyang, Diaby, Renato Sanchez, and Bruno Perez. Bruno Perez was extinct at 200,000 coins, got panic sold all the way back down to 130, and has now picked it back up to 146. On the um, Xbox, he was down at 110 and went back to 130. He's now at 120. So there's been a lot of fluctuations on day one. Renato Sanchez was down at 750. He's now at 850. He was selling at 1.1 mil right away. And Diddy is 425. He was at 380. Aubameyang has been, you know, around 1.3 to 1.5. So really a lot of. These cards are really expensive day one. And the reason why I think they're really expensive and why you saw a lot of fluctuations today, and while you'll probably see fluctuations until rewards is, the issue with these cards is they came out on a Tuesday. They came out on a Tuesday. There's no pack supply. Like literally, if there's anybody that is opening packs right now, um, it's, you know, maybe some people are using FIFA points. There's a couple special packs in the store, I believe. There might not even be any special packs in the store. It might just be 7.5Ks if you've already opened all the promos. Uh, so these guys really didn't have that much supply today. I think all of these road to the final cards are going to be dropping headed into rewards time. I think there's going to be, and that's the first thing I want to talk about today. Even some of these cards that have been out in packs now for almost a week. I think a lot of these cards are going to get sold off before rewards because people are expecting supply. Of course, the pack weight is it's really low on these cards, but of course EA can mess with that pack weight at any time they want for rewards today. So just be careful if you have any of these. If it's a higher tier item like Salah, Griezmann, Rashford, Davies, or Klosterman possibly, I would expect those cards to be their cheapest right before rewards or in the first 10 to 15 minutes because people are going to be selling those off because they think they're going to get dropped. They're going to drop at rewards with supply but really they don't get packed that much. So the, the cards actually pick up in price almost immediately after the rewards drop. Unless EA does something with the pack weight or if these cards don't really drop tonight into rewards, I would expect these guys to be sold off a little bit. And I think you'll see the lowest prices um, of these cards have seen yet uh, around the rewards time frame later tonight. So if you wanna buy any of these for your team, I suppose you could do it now. I also feel like the market's gonna affect these cards more this year. Last year, they went Instantly up out of packs. Most of them did. The really hyped and meta ones uh, like a Klosterman, Zakaria this year, Griezmann, Rashford, Salah, Davies, and even Tyson, maybe Muriel too. I would expect those cards to probably rise a little bit more quicker. Um, but since we don't have Champions League for another like two weeks, like the 24th of November, I don't know if they're going to maintain their price until then. They might drop off a little bit, especially with one couple things we're going to talk about this video is Black Friday, right? A lot of people, I think, are starting to put Black Friday more on their radar. So Black Friday is also always a big time in FIFA uh, because it's when there's a lot of supply that comes to the market and that is like the most well-known time of the game where there is a market crash. And that date, I think, is like the 27th uh, of November. So yes, the 27th of November this year is Black Friday. So we are about two weeks away from that come this Friday. And what that means is 
there's going to be people that are starting to sell their teams. Now, we already saw the market take a downturn a little bit in terms of gold cards this past week. And I think that's going to happen again. A lot of our popular golds that we saw drop off, like even a guy like Joe Gomez, right? This is a great example. He was 146,000 coins last week. He dropped down to 118 with the road of the final promo, the pack supply that happened last week. And people are just starting to realize that Black Friday is coming. A lot of supply is coming and these cards are going to get panic sold and they're going to drop. I would expect a rise still this week. I still think we're going to get a rise this week. The market's going to push up for the weekend league. But then after this weekend, again, we're going to see a nice drop off and cards are probably going to go lower than what they were this week. Like I would probably expect Joe Gomez to be down in like the 100K flat range for the after weekend league this week, maybe even lower than that, possibly depending on what content comes this Friday and stuff. We don't know about that, but uh, I would expect the market to sell off harder this week than it did last week. And the prices on gold cards and some informs would continue to drop because um, people know that Black Friday is coming. And of course, they're gonna get ready for that. They're gonna be selling a lot of their teams. You're gonna see guys like Mbappe, Neymar, Ronaldo, Son, uh, Varane, Rashford, of course, is out of packs. So that's an interesting one. You're gonna see those cards drop. You really are gonna see them drop. And uh, because people like to panic sell, they like to get out because they're thinking and they're knowing that there's going to be a better time to buy in the future. So just keep an eye on that sort of stuff. I don't think it really affects this week that much, except for um, the end of the weekend, right? Friday night, Friday or sorry, Saturday night into Sunday. That's when I would expect to see more of a panic on the market from people thinking about Black Friday and getting their cards out and taking the coins on stuff. Uh, this weekend, but I do still think we will see the market rise for rewards. So let's take a look at some of the stuff that I think we'll see rising for rewards. Now, my number one favorite thing is out of pack specials. And some of these cards are, you know, they fluctuate, right? Just like an hour and a half ago on stream, I was looking at this Jimenez card at 179,000 coins. He's back up to 192. Di Maria was 415,000 coins today because of the Atal SBC. He's back down to 376. Uh, I got one on bid tonight at 360 something. I think this is a decent price. If you see this guy in the 360s um, on the, the PlayStation and even in like the 370 lows on the Xbox, I don't think that's a bad idea. A lot of people did at all. I know they won't, might not use him in their team as a starting right back, but it's possible that they do. And this is like one of your best links. Now he could be in team of the week today. We'll look at team of the week in a second and what's going on with that. Uh, but I kind of like some of these rule breakers out of packs. Just watch for a little bit of a sell-off. Today, what you're looking for is what we look for kind of every week. A little bit of a sell-off on some of these out of packs cards that aren't over-invested in, right? If they're already inflated a lot, be very careful. Uh, whether that's an out of packs inform or a gold card, a guy like Ben Yetter, who is up, he was like 34,000 coins this morning and he's 40K right now. Of course, this card's inflated because of the uh, all the League One special card SBCs and, and stuff that we've had uh, in the recent days. It's got, yeah, 34K all the way up to 41 um, for Ben Yedder at the moment. So all I'm saying is if you're going to focus around a couple nationalities or leagues this weekend, I would say League One. It's kind of hard to buy League One special cards or League One cards right now because they're all kind of inflated already. So instead of League One, what I would also focus on is French. That'd be one of the keys for this weekend. If you're looking to buy a card that could go up, Premier League, French cards, Brazilians. Um, I'm looking at Paul Pugba as somebody who I'm interested in this week as a card who is a French card that gets a lot of good links. Think about all the French cards, right, that have been in objectives or that are in the promo teams right now. Um, a lot of French nationality is going around. Mukiele was in objectives. Now Koundé is in objectives. Um, you know, SBCs that have had French cards as well. So I think Pogba last week was 222. Of course, he was out of packs though for part of that time frame, down to 197. I think if you can see this in the lower to mid 190s on the PlayStation and at the low to mid 160s on the Xbox, that's a big buy for today on your Thursday uh, or Wednesday as a weekly flip investment. And look at the stuff that goes up every week, right? Some people were asking me about Langley. What is the Kunde objective? Uh, is he going to have an effect on the market? Yes, some of these French center backs have dropped off, but that also means you know, you're playing with two center backs. So some of the French center backs were probably going to do well this week and rebound back up a little bit because you got to link some of those cards together. And that's why I'm looking at the French midfielders. Icons would be a decent shot this week. Um, and just cards that are going to get strong links to objective cards, to SBC cards that have already come out 
or just meta and popular players in this in this team in this game so wijnaldum is somebody who i've always kind of looked at flipping right because he's got dutch links also have has liverpool links down to 50k where he's kind of chilling right now this would be a card that i would look at this week for sure and then out of packs cards as well we talked about like the team of the weeks informs man informs are so good these guys fluctuate so much Partey is 170 that's kind of low um right there now of course we do have a new in diddy card that's out that might affect him a little bit um that's kind of interesting this upmakano is again an interesting one that's a french card that is down because of of course the possible konate in today's team of the week that's a possibility don't know if that's confirmed but um if you're looking around for cards to buy again today focus on french focus on premier league focus on meta and when i see when i say meta go to this popular players tab on footbin and don't overthink it honestly don't overthink it when you see cards that have lots of games played lots of games played that's terrible english but lots of games played for their items right you go into a card and you can you can look at the top here games played a lot of games played means more hype and if you look at their graph and you see that every week they're bouncing up and down in price like timo Werner, right boom 220 to 250 there's a little bit of profit there last week 194 a little over 200 big drop this week into 172 you know just watch cards that's not even that big of a fluctuation but go in here and look at cards that fluctuate up and down on the weekly those are the cards that you're going to want to mess with and i like the out of packs cards the most so just watch for a sell-off today right before rewards anytime today on wednesday since the market is just kind of chilling in all honesty uh, you can look for some of those movements today. I don't think I'd be afraid of buying cards at rewards today, whether it's icons, out of pack specials, or even meta gold cards. I wouldn't be too afraid of it. I think the market's going to go up. Of course, you got to pick your spots the best. And that's just the most fun part about Thursday flipping is finding which cards go up the most, whether it be the least amount of over investing or just the best play and the best kind of overlooked investment that nobody is really looking for. And you find it and it goes up. So just be careful with stuff that has already gotten inflated, kind of like the Andre uh, Rule Breakers card. That's something that is already inflated that I would be very, very careful with um, because that card is very high already. And uh, there's over-investing there. So be very, very careful on a card like this Andre. I think he might be a bit over-invested in. Just take it easy with that one. So again, I just mentioned Team of the Week. There has been some leaks going around on Twitter of cards that are in team of the week now these are actually in fifa right now because uh of the 83 to 86 upgrade SBC. the foot champs pack is giving out cards from team of the week that is going to be dropping later today so we're getting another lozano another marcus urente and another ollie watkins which is why you see lozano's inform uh dropping down this guy's down like five six seven thousand coins in the last hour or so because people are expecting him to get into the team of the week obviously he's like confirmed getting in team of the week uh just watch these cards man all i'm saying is when a card gets a second inform there's a lot of times where that first inform gets panic sold off too much if it's a popular meta card bruno is another one that i'm looking at today uh this guy was like obviously like 200 or is he 320 i think he's 320 yeah bruno's 320 he was 360 370 000 coins earlier this week a new Bruno inform might be 600, 700,000 coins. This card being 300K might bounce back up a little bit. We'll see. It all depends on the first day price, so it's a bit risky. But sometimes the first inform gets panic sold off a little bit, and you do see a rebound on that inform after the second one comes out, and it is too expensive. So watch out for that sort of market movement today as well. And the last thing I want to talk about, again, is just these promo cards. Like Renato Sanchez uh this is this is crazy renato sanchez the new europa league live item was selling at 1.2 million coins and i just want to talk about the state of this game and just the fact that ea and everybody ea has everybody in this game like just just enthralled by the new cards the putting out cards for hyped players that are op in game and i don't understand how people are paying this much for an 82 rated, yes, it's a live item, but an 82 rated Renato Sanchez, who's in form with the exact same stats, is 230k. And that, that card was once 50k on the market like three weeks ago. I think it's crazy. 
that these cards are this much and that they're this inflated. I do think all these cards are going to drop at rewards with pack supply. They are going to rebound after rewards for sure. Uh, so that's something to kind of keep an eye out for as well because people want to get these cards in their team. But I just think it's crazy. And the biggest takeaway that I have from today is that uh, people will pay anything. People will pay anything for a brand new card if it means they're one of the first ones to get it, to try it out, to have it, and to use it. Uh, price is literally just a number for people. If it's a hype card that uh, is going to be very good in game, people will pay whatever the cost is. And people do not have patience either in this game because... As you saw, we were looking at that Renato Sanchez card. He was 1.1 million coins for the first hour or so today, and then tanked off down to 600, or sorry, 700K after that. If you would have waited three, four hours, you would have saved yourself 400,000 coins. How crazy is that? So I think that's pretty nuts. Um, content wise, today on Wednesday, I don't think I'm really expecting much. It might be kind of a slow day today on Wednesday, and we've seen that on Mondays. And some Wednesdays in the past week or so. So if you're looking to make your buys for like out of packs in forums um, or especially some gold cards like a Pugba, that's going to be a popular buy. If there's no content today on Wednesday, what you're going to want to do is start looking at your uh, Thursday flip investments that we're talking about today. Um, once you kind of find an idea about those, get on those pretty quickly because there's going to be people if there's no content that are saying, hey, no content. That means I need to go out and buy my cards because there's really nothing else to do. And prices are probably going to rise if I don't do that. So watch cards early in the day today. After content, is there if there is something, you might see a bit of a drop off. And you still could see some drop offs in the evening. But people will be buying cards today at 6 p.m. if there is no big time content. So just keep that in mind that you might want to be a little bit earlier to the party this week than later waiting for undercuts later in the evening. So just be careful with that. That's kind of the time frame. And I would sell these cards. You don't have to sell them Thursday. You could probably hold on and sell them into the, the day on a Friday as well if you wanted to. Um, I'm probably going to try to buy some things that I could sell Thursday and then buy th more things on Friday with those coins that we made. So that's kind of my plan. But of course, Thursday flips are, you know, you're buying stuff before rewards and you're selling it during the peak of the weekend league or right after rewards, depending on what you want to do. And if you want to hold out for a little bit more profit, because sometimes cards do go higher into Friday. There's just so many variables, right? This is FIFA. Things are changing all the time. New cards coming out into packs. We'll see what happens today with content as well and on Thursday. So without further ado, I think that's the end of the video, boys. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy it, drop a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.